What's up, YouTube? I started my Bandit Rebuild. This is the front end. It's complete. Okay, what I've done, I put on a Turnigy Servo, the 1258 Titanium Gear. You can go to Hobby King's uh, website to get the specs on it, or Google it. You get the specs on it. I haven't used a full size Turnigy servo before, but I do have the Mini on my Mini E Revo. And I have no problems out of that servo whatsoever. So I'm a venture with the big boy. Plus it matches. But I had it sitting for a minute. So I was gonna put in a one tenth on road car. But as you see, I changed my mind, I'm gonna throw it in here. If I get any problems out of it, I'm gonna take it out and put the Traxxas plastic gear servo back in. Moving up, I got the Slash Performance Bell Crank, which is pretty beefy, much better than the plastic when it comes with this, little white cheap plastic when it comes with it. This is nice and beefy, built in servo saver. I didn't want Aluminum bell cranks. This is just my personal opinion. But metal bell cranks connected to a servo isn't a good idea to me. It looks good, but metal transfers energy. So if you get into an accident, the metal will slide right down the rods to the bell crank to the servo. You got a metal servo, you should be good. But I don't want to take the chance to put that much pressure on my servo. So plastic absorbs shock much better than metal does. That's just my personal opinion, like I said. You can probably buy a servo saver and avoid everything I just said. But in my opinion, I like the plastic one. Plus it's nice and beefy. Factory tie rods. Knuckles and block aluminum. Now I had to see the rod at the bottom. This rod through the bottom. I had to drill a hole wider to put the pin through. This is the factory pin that doesn't fit through there properly. It's too, the hole is too small inside the block. So I took a drill bit carefully, drilled the hole a little wider. Took a drill bit, same diameter as the pin. Drilled the hole wider so it's on there nice and secure. No wobbles. RPM front arms, bad horsey shock covers. This is still the factory shocks. I didn't change over to the big bores. I may, I may do that down the line, but right now these are good. This is gonna be an on road car. I'm not gonna do any depth defying jumps with pretty much any of my rides, but these shocks should do the case. I just gotta load the, load the springs a little bit better. Traxxas aluminum shock cap. See the aluminum bulkhead in there. Adds a little bit more weight to the vehicle. I left that part right. Don't leave that um, undyed. Because it's so thin. I don't know if the hot water and dye will mess with its integrity. So I might buy a black one later on down the road. But right now that's going to stay that uh, yellowish white off white color. And the RPM front bumper. So like I said, the front end is done. Next, I'm going to attach this to the chassis. Hook up the servo. Hook up servo, ESC, and everything else to the chassis. I had to do a slight modification to the chassis. One is recommended to do this. Take a little notch out of here. So that the new beefier bell crank to fit on it properly so that's out of there and for my personal preference I took a notch out the side here this battery compartment and I took the back wall out or the center wall out right here for longer batteries my uh, a lot of, I got a lot of turnigy batteries and um, door tracks batteries and the cables on the side so cable slide right out the side nothing's gonna be over here 
Well, I'm have a couple of tronics over here, but the battery cable comes right on this side. The tronics on that side. You know the ESC goes in the back. But that's it for now. This is Banded Update Part One. Peace.